Giving someone flowers is a way of showing loves, but they can also be grown with love. In tonight's Eye on Keveland, Lauren Solik takes you to a family-run flower farm in Castlewood, South Dakota, that's full of both blossoms and love. What started as a small house in a garden and a big dream has blossomed into something new and beautiful for the Rummel family in Castlewood, South Dakota. I'm a dental hygienist by trade and after a decade in that career, I needed a change. I just needed to kind of find myself again. I had four young children. Um, my husband was working full time as well. Four years ago, Jessie Rummel left her job to stay home with her four daughters during the summer. Together, they grew vegetables and flowers to sell at the farmer's market. My husband looked at me and he's like, I can't believe how happy you are. And I was like, I am. You know, like it took him like to say that to realize, like kind of like self reflect and be like, I am so happy. After that, Jesse took online flower farming classes and planted Pixie Acre flower farms into reality. And I was like, this is it. Like, this is my calling. As a family, the Rummels grow 65 different varieties of flowers to sell in bouquets at farmers markets and for weddings. They also recently started a design studio where groups can come and learn how to put together their own flowery creations. I like how the field is so pretty at this one point and then we get to just sit in the flowers. Yeah. I like the smell of flowers. I like to help my mom. They're just like other children. They complain when they have to pull weeds. <laughs> and, you know, they, but they help water and they, they'll help me with bouquets. My oldest is 11 now and she is like my checkout girl at the farm cart. She loves to like, you know, do the cash and the credit card machine and stuff. So yeah, they're super helpful. The name for the farm stems from this playhouse Jesse's husband built for the girls. One of my friends was over and I was like, I gotta figure out a name. Like, we gotta figure this out. And um, she's like, you know, I really think that you should base it around the fairy house because it's so cool. So we were like fairy house acres. We're like, oh, too long. So then it was, we found Pixie Acres and that's kind of where it came from, which is perfect because it's from the root of where, you know, why we did this. Though the flowers aren't in full bloom just yet this season, the love on this farm is. Just being home and being with the girls, like the whole time you're doing it and getting your hands dirty, you know, like actually growing something for somebody else. Jesse's mission is to spread the beauty that South Dakota has to offer. It's a ton of work. It's like 12 hour days, all day, every day. Um, but to cultivate beauty, for other people is incredibly special. Like to see their faces, like when you hand them fresh flowers, like South Dakota grown flowers, it's, it's, it's really special, yeah. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Lauren Solick. Oh, what a beautiful farm. Now, Jesse says they hope to start a pumpkin patch this year so they can invite people out to the farm in the fall to see the last flower blooms and pick up a pumpkin. You can learn more about Pixie Acre Flower Farms by following the links in this story on Cuddleland.com.